Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a great day. And today to share with you two ways that you can update your unsupported computer to the latest version of Windows 11, 24H2, which as you know, has some major updates. And we did check out on the last video, link right over here and link down below. Actually, I did share on that video and I can show you right over here. On my screen, I've got a computer with Windows 11 Pro, which by the way, it's the N1 and Fly N2. Book. really cool with dual displays really it has been of a great help for example i'm recording obs at this moment on the display down below and i've got the old display right over here to share with you but as i was saying it has windows 11 pro with 24h2 and if we go to windows update and if we go to windows inside the program if our hardware is compatible then we will have all the updates including the 24h2 and you don't need to follow the guide that I'm sharing. You just need those steps. In case your computer is not compatible, then this video will help you. I will show you two ways. That being said, let's go straight for it. Now, we were talking about Windows 11 Pro. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated it and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price. And with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. And besides Windows 11 Pro, if you are looking for Windows 10 or even an office suit that we can aggregate directly to our Microsoft account, you can use the same coupon code, which will give you the best price possible at this moment. So just in case, the link will be down below. And now let's get to our browser and we will need to go to uupdump.net. Now this is awesome. So a huge thumbs up for the developers. And it has a lot of options right over here. Basically, it will pack in our options to download a certain version of Windows from the Microsoft official server. So this is really awesome. Now we have a lot of options here. You can explore them yourself. And I'm just going to cover what we need for today. So today we are going to cover Windows 11 24H2. This is what I'm going to select. And right here we will see all of the releases for 24H2. And at this moment, there's this release right over here, which is the latest one that we want. Then we have the cumulative updates right over here, but we don't want that. We just want the full version. So I'm going to select this one. If you watch this video later on, then it's possible that there is a later version. Just have that in mind. Now, the first option is the language. I'm going to leave on English United States, but for example, I'm Portuguese. So if I want, I could select Portuguese from Portugal, which is where I live and I'm natural from, but I could select Brazil. Brazil, or I could select any other language, which is great. Now let's select next. And here there's the first really interesting option, which is I can select which verse or which edition of Windows I want. So Windows Home and Windows Pro or Windows Home N and Windows Pro N as well. I'm going to leave them as it is. And if I want just one, I can also do that. Let's press next. And here there's another really interesting option. So we are going to cover the download and convert to ISO. That is it. But if I wanted, I could download additional editions and convert to ISO. So if I want the uh, own single language or Pro for workstations or Pro Education or any other of these, I can select or leave them all and have all those versions. But if I want a particular one, okay, this one right over here or this one right over here, and I could have them all together. But we don't need uh, in this particular case, let's just download and convert to ISO. There are other options that we can select as well, like integrate Net Framework 3.5 or use solid ESD compression, which will make the file smaller. Let's select this one right over here. And at this moment, we are ready to create the package. Now we can see right over here the summary and it says that Windows is required to create the ISO image, which is the next step. But for now, I can download on any computer, but I'm using Windows right over here, as you have seen. Let's press create download package and bam, it already downloaded. So let me go to my download folder and here I am with the folder that was downloaded, which is only eight kilobytes. So really, really small. The magic will happen next. Now I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract here on my download folder, 
but I would suggest to put the zip folder on your C drive like so. I've got one right over here, which I will share with you in just a few moments. But for this video purpose, I'm going to do it on the downloads because I already done on the C drive. So we just need to extract and then open the folder. And if I go down right over here, this is the file that I need to execute. So I'm going to press right click and then run as administrator. It's going to give me the Windows protected PC screen, more info and then run anyway. Now a blank screen for you, but it just press yes. And right over here, we just need to put in the R option, which is run once. So R, press enter. And this will do all the magic. So you will have a complete log right over here. It will tell us exactly what it's doing, what it's downloading and so on and so forth. And this is a process that will take a bit long. So I would suggest start the process and just go out for a walk or do something else. And then in about half an hour or so, one hour, 40 minutes, something like that, come back and you will have everything ready to follow along with this guide. Here, let's do some YouTube magic and let's speed this process up. And once the process finishes, we've got the message finished right over here on our prompt. We can press zero to exit or Q and there we go. Now, if we want to take a look at all uh, the log, we can check out what was installed and where it was installed from. So a lot of info right over here, which is great. I love this tool and I'm really happy to be able to share with you all the credits, of course, to the developers of UUP Dump, which is a awesome tool. By the way, if you love the tip, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's move on. I can close this window or minimize, doesn't matter. And uh, inside the folder that we downloaded and as I did suggest you placed on your Windows C, and now if I open, I've got right over here a lot of files, which we don't need, but there's one that we need, which is Windows 11 24H2 image. And you can see by the size right over here. So what we are going to do right now, and I can check my computer right over here, which only has C, I'm going to right click and select mount. Now there are several ways of doing this. I'm going to do the easiest one, I believe. And if I go to my PC, I've got it mounted right over here. Now, if your computer is compatible and and no hardware issues, you can just double press, double click and it will execute and install Windows. Double click, it didn't see that screen, it just asked my permission and it will start the normal Windows update. As you can see, install Windows 11. But having in mind that probably you are having issues, let's close this and do something else, which is easy. So I will need to go to my menu and search for CMD, right click and open or run as administrator, select yes, and there we go. Now we've got to go, let me right click and open a new tab. And if we go, we will need to go to this folder right over here. And this folder is located in D and then sources. So I will need to go here, press D and the dual dots and press enter and there we go and if i press now cd space and sources all right cd space sources there i am inside this folder right over here which is the mounted image now if you opt to extract to a folder you can go to that folder but this way i believe that it's much easier now we will need to put in a command prompt right over here, which I will leave down below on the video description or on the first comment. So just going to copy, which is basic setup prep.exe space slash product space server. Basically, this is it. And if you don't want to copy, just uh, uh, write it down and there we, there we go. So just right click and now press enter. And what it will do is it will invoke the tool to install but as we can see it doesn't say anymore windows 11 it says windows server which is totally fine no issues whatsoever now let's press next it will search for the updates and it will take about a couple of minutes now we will need to accept the license just say yes and choose what to keep now 
if we want to keep everything as it is, we just need to keep file settings and apps and we will do a normal update. If I want to keep only my files and delete all the apps, I will select this one. And if I want to delete everything and have a fresh install, then I will select this one, which is not what we want at this moment. So keep everything. Yes, let's press next. And now it will make sure that it's okay to install. It will bypass the TPM and so on and so forth. And it will, in a couple of minutes, yes, it will take us to this screen right over here, which is the final screen before the installation starts. So if you are on this screen, everything is good to go. You just need to press install. At this moment, as I'm recording the screen on this computer, I will not press install. So this is the final screen. And if I want to change anything right over here, I can. Now, if you are okay, you are okay, leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing it. So, but if you still have any issues, I have got another solution for you. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to close this installation. You don't need to do that. You just need to follow along with the installation for yourself. But I'm going to close so that we can see another solution. And we can close this one as well. And I can close or minimize this one. And right over here, we will need to mount the um, image. And I can close this one. So right now, what I've got here is the Windows C drive and the mounted image, which we will require for any of the scenarios. So if you were okay with the previous uh, installation, great. If you still have issues, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave a link down below so that you can download Bypasser, which is for 23H2, but it will work for 24H2. So you will download this. And once you follow along the first half of this tutorial so that we can download the image, mount it right over here, but then instead of opening the prompt, what we're going to do is download this file. And I know you're going to say, hey, Robert, you should have started with that one. But honestly, I prefer to do the manual way. And then if it doesn't work, then let's go for a command prompt that was downloaded. But I get your point. This is much easier, perhaps. So what I'm going to do is right click and run as administrator, press yes. And it will say that skip TPM check on dynamic updates is installed and it will shut down in one second. Bam. Now, once we do this, I just need to go to the mounted image right over here, double click so that it can start that installation of Windows 11 24H2. And it will not ask for any TPM check. It will follow along with the installation regardless of your hardware. That is it. If you want to remove the bypasser, we just need to do the process again, which is run as administrator, select yes. And once you uh, do that, we will see right over here removed and it will uh, shut down in one second. And that is it. I know, I know I could have started with this one right over here, but honestly, I preferred the first method and then the second, which I will leave links down below and credits and whatnot. But uh, hopefully one of these two did work for yourself. And that's the important message. If they did, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.